The two buildings, one displaying exemplary integration of services and the other not, are the Royal Alexandria Theatre and the Albee Grand Theatre. The theatre contains a subcategory of integrated building services. This includes the stage, which requires specialty lighting systems, a lighting booth, offstage wings and offstage prompters boxes, and the circulation of people throughout the theatre, which includes entrances, emergency exits for guests and performers, elevators to the box and house seats, and ticket vending. Built in 1907 in Toronto, Ontario, the Royal Alexandra Theatre was designed by John Lyle in Beaux Arts style. The facade engineering and design was inspired by small lavish theatres being built in New York with a large overhang. The building has no elevators and instead guests can only access the second and third floors via one of the two sets of staircases. Alex was North America's first air-conditioned theatre by virtue of a large ice pit under the orchestra. Since then, it's moved to electrical means of cooling and heating. The building is one of the first fireproof theaters on the continent because of its steel framing, and the building has no parking where guests must park underground at the Princess of Wales Theater. Both the ticket lobby and orchestra lobby are dimly lit with natural and artificial overhead lights. Although Royal Alexandra is a beautiful historic site and theater, its design does not effectively integrate its building systems nearly as well as the Albi Grand Theater, which contains a cultural and art center. 10 movie theaters below grade, and two performance theaters. Built in 2014 in Albi, France, the theater sits on 2.5 acres and was designed by Dominique Perrot. The facade's engineering involves a rain screen which encases the four-story glass theater complex and assists with drainage by creating a capillary break for water to pass through. The concave curves of the rain screen were calibrated to reflect daylight in a way that makes the screen appear to change color in sync with the city's historic buildings. Unlike the Alexandra Theater, the main theater building in the Albi Grand has nine elevators, one being for stage equipment. The building is heated and cooled by electrical, but more passive and heating cooling techniques were incorporated into the building. Both theaters are lit with artificial lighting, but the lobby and other amenities within the main theater building are lit with natural lighting. Unlike the Royal Alexandra, the theater's natural lighting illuminates the atrium independently and effectively through the four glass facades.